Want to learn the easiest way to build a WordPress website? If so, this video is for you. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to build a professional looking website using WordPress. And the great thing is that there are so many new AI features now, meaning building a WordPress website is no longer complicated. WordPress obviously is one of the most powerful website builders in the world. There's a reason why so many big websites are built on this platform. And so no matter the type of website you want to build, WordPress is going to have the strength and functionality to do it. You don't need to know how to code. Plus I'll show you exactly how you can use AI in this video to actually help build your website for you. What used to take hundreds of hours now just takes maybe one or two hours. It's crazy. I guarantee you after this video, you're gonna know exactly how to build your website. And so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find a website hosting service. WordPress is an open source software, but just like any website that lives on the web, you have to house it somewhere. And that's where the website host comes in. In this video, I'll show you how to make a professional looking website in minutes using my favorite platform, Hostinger. It's my preferred WordPress WordPress hosting software. I use it myself for all of my websites. It's super affordable, super fast, and they have really cool AI WordPress tools. So if you click on the link down below in the description, it's gonna take you to a landing page that looks something like this. It's very important that you guys use that link because it's gonna give you the best pricing available. And if you're watching this during Black Friday, please, please, please get web hosting right now because it's the cheapest. It's gonna be the entire year right now. So you might as well save a bunch of money. And if you stack that with code Charlie Chang, it's gonna make it even more affordable. So what I'm gonna do is click on start now. As you can see, there are three different plans to choose from. There's the premium, there's the business, and there's the cloud startup. Now for most of you guys watching this video, I'm going to really suggest getting the business plan. And the main reason for this is because you get those AI WordPress tools. It's gonna help you save a ton of time. It's $4 a month, $3 a month for the premium. Most of you guys won't need the cloud startup plan, so don't worry about that one. But as you can see with the business plan, you can create up to 50 different websites with one single plan. You get 50 gigabytes of storage, Storage. And like I said, you get that AI agent for WordPress, which the premium one does not have. But yeah, look through these different features, pick the one that works best for you. And now I'm gonna choose the business plan for this video. So it's gonna have you select the time period you want. If you choose 48 months, of course, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but you're locking in that super low rate for four years. I recommend doing at least 12, 24, or 48 months. So it really depends on you guys. If you choose one month, it's really, really expensive per month. So it's just not worth it. And yeah, basically the longer you choose, the cheaper it is and the longer you can lock in that price. Now, make sure you come here to the have a coupon code section, click on this and enter in Charlie Chang. That's gonna give you an additional 10% off. So yeah, make sure you guys do that. Next, we'll click on continue. You'll enter in your information here, continue on to payment. And then yeah, you'll have your WordPress hosting. So now I'm in my hosting or dashboard. Your dashboard is gonna look somewhat similar to this. So under websites, you're gonna go to websites list and here you're gonna find your web hosting. So what we'll do is click on add website. As you can see, we have a few different options. In this video, I'll show you guys how to use WordPress, but just know that there is a hosting your website builder. That is probably the easiest way to build a website. But if you want the functionality of WordPress, then of course you're gonna to wanna to choose this one. So it's gonna have you create your login details for your WordPress account. We'll click on next. And now you have two different options. First, you could create a website with AI, which is what I'm gonna show you since you know you might as well save some time. Or you can also use a pre-built theme. This is also a great way to do it. But yeah, let's go ahead with AI for this video. We'll click on next. Oh, and of course, of course, you can create a blank site too, but I don't recommend doing that because your website's gonna take you a long time to make. So with your hosting, it does come with a free domain for a year. So definitely choose a domain that suits your business, your portfolio, whatever website you're trying to create. For now, I'm just gonna use a temporary domain, but just know that it does come free with your business hosting. It's gonna install WordPress, which might take a few minutes. And real quick guys, I've built dozens and dozens of websites over the last 10, 20 years. I've never been able to build a website as fast as today. So if you're trying to build a website now, you are extremely lucky. Okay, so going back to this, it's gonna have you select the type of editor that you want to use. So there's the block editor, that's like the native WordPress editor. And there's also Elementor, but for this video, I'll show you the block editor. It's a little bit more simple. And if you guys know me, I love simple. So block editor will have us enter in our brand name. So let's do something like Charlie Chang Photography. Just put in your business or whatever you want. Website type. We're gonna do a business and services website, but of course, choose which one matches the one that you wanna make. For example, if you want a portfolio, choose this one. If you want a blog, choose blog. Now I'm gonna write a description of my website and the more descriptive you are, the more detailed you are, the better the AI is gonna be able to build your website. Okay, so this is a quick description that I wrote. You can always use AI to improve the description, but just for now, I'm gonna click on create. Now it's gonna generate this website. Having AI 
within WordPress is a pretty new thing. AI website builders have been a thing for a long time, but being able to actually use it for WordPress is super cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and design a website. As you can see, it created an about page, portfolio page, contact page. I don't see an FAQ or rates page. And also this thing is a little bit wonky. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create again. Now just know that if you click this button, it's gonna completely erase whatever you had here. So if you think this is a good foundation for your website, I just click on edit site and use it. Then you can change things that you want. But for me, I'm gonna click on create again, just to show you guys what it looks like. This time, let me try to use this to improve the description. Okay, we'll click on create. All right, so it's remade the page. I think this actually looks a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit site. And that's gonna import this design into the WordPress builder, the editor, and we'll get started actually customizing and adding things to our website. So this editor is very easy to use. And I'm just gonna show you guys sort of how to do some of the basics. Now, anything that you wanna change, you can just click on it. So for example, this text, I can easily change it. We can change the font easily as well. All we need to do is select the text, come here, make sure you're in the block over here. And if this is not showing, click on this button right here to toggle this. You'll come here to the typography section. We'll click on these three dots right here, choose font. We can change the font if we want. I'm just gonna leave it as is for now, but just know that that's how you do it. We can change the size of this font too. We can change the margins too, the border. And yeah, super, super easy. As you can see over here, this is called a block. And within this block, we have smaller blocks, right? So we have this text, we have this text block, we have this button right here, which is another like element. And all the stuff we can easily customize. So I encourage you guys go through, you can change the colors, you can change the fonts. If you wanna change the images, so for example, this image right here or this image, we can replace with a new image by clicking on here. We can upload a new image. We can change the positioning too by clicking these buttons right here, dragging it to where we want it to go. And it's gonna you know switch places in this case. As you can see down here, this formatting is a little bit weird. So what I'll want to do is I'll come to this image right here. I'm gonna drag it over here so that there is enough room for this image. Obviously their heads are cut off right here. So I'd probably wanna choose a different image or I'd want to recrop this image. But for now, I'm just gonna leave this as is. Here you can see we have a section for a testimonial, which is always really good to have. If for example, I want to change the color of this section, I'll make sure to click on this entire block here. We'll come here to styles and we'll select background. So we can easily change the background color. I'm gonna leave it as is, because I think this is actually a pretty solid one, but just know that's how you change it. Now, if I come down here and put my mouse here, this is basically how you create a new block or a new section of your homepage. So if I click on this right here, you can see we can choose from a few select ones or we can click on browse all. So I'm gonna click on that. There are tons and tons of different blocks that are sort of like pre-made and you can choose from these templates very, very easily. If you want to put in a button, you can easily do that here. You can put in widgets. There are different embeds we can put as well. So for example, if you wanted to put a YouTube video, for example, you can embed a video just by clicking on this. And there are tons and tons of different things that we can add. So just for now, I'm gonna show you guys the YouTube embed. What you'll do is you'll put in a URL to a video. I'm gonna enter that in right here, click on embed. And that's gonna put this particular video in this section. We can easily change the sizing. We can have it on the left, have it on the right. That's all stuff that you guys can easily play around with. And yeah, so that's a very basic overview on how you can use the WordPress editor to edit your homepage. When you're done editing it, make sure to click on the save button right here. And now what I'm gonna do is come here to open navigation. Here we can play around with our navigation bars, our styles, right? So if you wanna change something like the color that is applicable for across the entire website, you'll wanna do that here. Same thing with typography. If you wanna add different pages, you'll come here to the pages section. You can easily click on add page. If you wanna edit any of these pages, we can just click on this. So for example, if I want to edit the about page, I'll click on this. This is what it's made for me. Obviously, I'm gonna to want to change all of this information. We can get rid of this map right here if you don't want it. All you do is highlight the block, click on these three buttons and click on delete. And yeah, just go through these, build your different pages. And now I'm gonna take you guys to the actual WordPress dashboard, which you'll get to by clicking on this button. Now, one thing I really recommend you guys do is come here to the hosting your tab. Here, it's gonna sort of help you onboard, right? So you'll see what steps you still need to do. For example, we need to add a domain to this website. You can also learn a bunch of different things about WordPress through here. They have a ton of different resources and videos. Another really cool thing with the business plan is that you get this AI content creator. So we can literally create pages, create different elements, whatever we want using this. All you basically need to do is come here, choose on the content type. So if you want to create a post, we'll choose that. If you want to create a completely new page, we'll click on that. You'll select your tone of voice. So let's go with friendly and neutral. Content length, let's go with medium. And then you're gonna tell it what your content is 
about. Let's go ahead and build another about me page. All right, so I wrote something here. It's not actually true. I just wrote a bunch of random stuff. We can add a focus keyword if we want, but I'm just gonna click on create content. Cool, so it's built a bunch of different things. It has a bunch of keywords, a meta description, an AI generated image, and then it's sort of tried to write the stuff. But of course, I recommend going in, writing your own thing. So we'll click on publish. And now you can see we have a page that was made by the AI content creator. Now, I also wanna give you a quick overview of this dashboard, because I do know it can get a little bit complicated. All your posts are gonna be here, so if you have a blog, this is where you're gonna go. All your pages are gonna be right here, so you can edit your pages here. We can also easily add a new page here as well. If you wanna change the appearance of your website, you're gonna come here to Appearance, and what you guys can do is actually click on Themes, and currently we're using the Hostinger AI theme, since we use the AI Builder to build our WordPress website, but one of the best things about WordPress is that there are so many great professionally built themes out there, many of them free. If you click on add theme right here, we'll be able to browse some of the most popular themes out there. Feel free to look through these. There are a lot of really great looking ones. If you want a recommendation on one that I like, Astro is a really great foundation for most websites. You can find that here or just search up Astro. But of course, if you're trying to find something that's very specific, so for example, a photography website portfolio or a business consulting website, there's probably gonna be something that is a little bit more built out already for you. And so that means you just have to do less work. So just go through this. You know, if you don't want to keep using the hosting your AI theme, feel free to find one over here. For example, let's say I want to just use this one. We'll click on preview. You can see what this one looks like. Obviously it looks pretty good. We'll click on install if you like it. And that's going to install this theme onto your WordPress website. The great thing is that we can actually shift between different themes. So we can go ahead and build something using this theme. And if we don't like it, we can actually just go back to our previous theme. Be a little bit careful with this because some of the contents of your website may or may not transfer that well. But yeah, I just want you guys to know that you can absolutely change your theme at any time you want. If you want to change it back, we'll come here to themes. We'll go back to our old one, click on activate, and that's going to bring back our old website. Now, another great thing about WordPress are the plugins. So if you click on this button right here, you'll see these are the current plugins that are installed. There are a bunch of great plugins out there. And if you want to actually install new ones, you'll come here to add plugins. I recommend having some anti-spam protection. So you'll probably want something like this. You'll want an SEO tool, even though that is already built in. So search up SEO, for example, you can use Yoast SEO. This is a great one. And yeah, you can keep adding more and more functionality to your website by adding these plugins. Now, you don't want to install too many of them because if you do, it's going to slow down your website. So don't go absolutely crazy on this. There's already a lot of built-in functionality to WordPress that you probably won't need to add that many plugins. Plus, if you are, it's probably going to be too complicated, it's going to slow your website down. And guys, seriously, simplicity is key for most websites. If you click on users here, this is where we can basically add new users to become editors of our website. You can have people become contributors. They can just create different blog posts for you. And yeah, you can set basically the security level by choosing the role. And then here are the settings. This is also pretty important. So you can change the site title, the tagline, change the time zone. I'd recommend coming down here to permalinks, make sure it is set on post name. And yeah, feel free to just go through these things, change any settings you need change. Like I mentioned earlier, in this video, I showed you how to use the built-in WordPress editor, but you also have the option of using Elementor. Elementor is a little bit more powerful, but it is a little harder to use. So yeah, you'll want to decide which one you want to use. You can always add Elementor as a plugin. So if I search Elementor right here, we can just install the Elementor website builder here and start using it. So yeah, that's basically how you guys can create a really great looking website using WordPress. We covered everything from finding hosting, how to use the Hostinger AI WordPress builder to actually build your website, how to make changes to your homepage, how to add pages, how to use the editor, all that stuff, as well as an overview of the WordPress dashboard. WordPress is great. There is so much great functionality within this platform. But if you watch this video and you're thinking, okay, it's a little bit complicated, I recommend just using the Hostinger website builder. It comes with any of the plans. It's gonna be really easy to build your website. And yeah, that's what I recommend for most absolute beginners. Anyways, hopefully you guys found some value in this video. Again, if you want to save some money on website hosting, I'll have a link down below to Hostinger. Make sure you guys use code Charlie Chang at checkout to save an additional 10%. And yeah, if you haven't already, please follow along with this video. Go back, get the hosting. The best way to actually learn is to actually 
actually do it while watching this tutorial. I also have a ton of other videos on my channel teaching you guys how to build a website. So I'll link some of those down below as well. Anyways, I'm really appreciative of your time. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys got any value from the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. I do a ton of videos about business, website building, finance, a bunch of stuff to help you guys live a financially successful life. Again, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.